Hello, and welcome to Details with Adam Sierbinski. So today we're going to be covering Kobe Bryant's details. So why is this important? Well, I'm not sure anybody realizes this, but Kobe Bryant was a strategic strategic uh, analyst and he played a lot of basketball by himself so he thought about scenarios and simulations and ways to be his opponent uh, prior to him facing him. It's called prior analytics. It's the art of thinking inductively. Particulars to particulars. Right? We think from particulars to particulars. Why is that important? Because I'm using words, and most people want to understand them. Not, and it matters nothing. Not, it doesn't really matter to me if, if you don't understand what I just said. What matters to me is that uh, we get this video done and see for ourselves Brian's genius. Let's get started. <sighs> see that man? He's back in the booth. What? Kobe MVP MVP MVP. I would say Kobe is scientist here, but I mean that man, the man's teeth gnarl is, is 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 literally the intro. We went backwards, but hey, Bob Cousy said, "Come on, fam, don't disrespect me like that." Anyway, let's go. So Jerry West forces Cousy by pretending to break his ankles to shoot a high, low percentage jump shot, and Cousy takes so long, Cousy takes so fucking long to bring the ball up to court that he had 15 seconds left. So Cousy's retarded, and he basically wastes shot clock time. I don't care. That guy's horrible. Celtics have better players. Next. So, West is outsmarted Scoozy so badly, like so badly, that he made him shoot a high percentage shot. And basically, a, sorry, a low percentage shot. High for Kobe, low for Scoozy, because Scoozy's short. Kobe's 6'7. So, no one, no, no, it's not, all those are uncontested for him. Anyway, let's wind that back. Let's wind that back. I just want, I just want to see that. That, that, that the whole discourse that I'm, I'm trying to get across to you people is actually very much real. Very much real. Uh, see the eye contact. It's the details. That hand switch. Kuzi. See that hand? He's thinking he's going to drive. See that? See that? He's thinking West is going to slip to the, the three point line and Kobe Bryant is going to go to the basket. But that's, that's not, we're not there yet. Look up the Jabbar and let's see how the boxing out works. Look at the Laker team, right? Look how they're arranged. See that there is logic there. Look at that. The stop. And 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 and, and, and see the, the logic of how their formation is organized. Man in the middle, Jabbar center. Magic covers one wing. Jabbar covers one wing. Kobe covers one baseline. Shaq is supposed to cover the other baseline. Perfect logical. It's like a square with a man in the middle. That's how boxing out should be. Because Jabbar can, can can take out Bird. But if the ball goes to the baseline, it's actually not Magic's ball. So you can actually have pre games to figure out where each one covers when a rebound hits. There should be no conflict when the ball is in the air after it hits the rim. There should be no conflict at all about whose rebound it is. And a discussion. Jabbar in the middle. Perfectly positioned. West taking on two people. That, 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 that's the whole structure. It's a structure. It's very effective. It's group theory. Look at Brian. Pierce gets it. And Pierce is a hustler. And Pierce and Brian are going at it. And that's one of my favorite favorite pictures. I should probably take a picture of that. Because it shows something that I truly like. Paul Pierce and Kobe Bryant going at it. Look at him. They're, they're, they're thinking at the same level. They're at the same level, right? And Kobe and Pierce at the same level. It's very much contested. Pierce is right there. But Jabbar, Jabbar, saved that ball because Bryant thinks ahead. Bryant's very much like myself. And a wide receiver can attest to this. Sometimes when, when wide receivers get licked by Cam Chancellor, it's because they're thinking five steps ahead. They're thinking after the catch. T.O. was excellent at this, and he could catch the ball automatically because that's T.O. Terrell Owens is a machine. We're mere mortals. But some guys just get licked because they're thinking of the moves they're going to make after the catch. And they, and they drop the ball. So here it goes. 
let's run that back a little bit. I'll get on the mic. So Brian is looking at. See, so let's stop right there. So the Jabbar gets the rebound immediately. Immediately looks up court. Right? Looks up court. And Kobe Bryant makes eye contact. And he's beating Pierce. Right? So Pierce had got the got the jump on the on the board, but that made him lose the jump on the transition. Okay? So there you have it. Kobe Bryant is looking at his first mark. What am I going to do once I get the ball? Jay West is clearly going to the three-point line corner. That's just, that's standard. That's basic. So Kuzi is going to follow West because he won't leave him wide open. So Brian is going to pretend like he's going to go past West. No, switch hands, right? And then all of a sudden, the whole game's over. But Larry Bird sees this. Larry Bird is right there with him mentally. Larry Bird's like, ah, okay, yeah, cool child. And then he's, he's he's trying to beat him to the jump. But Kobe Bryant is literally thinking, all right, I gotta get there first. Whoever gets to the top of the key first will win. Bryant beats him. That will happen. Nah, not, 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 not ever again. That was that play because Larry will shut that down real quick. Larry's a strategist, executioner, butcher, perfect statistician. That's my, that's one of my thing. They're at that level. I'm trying to get there. So Bryant beat Larry to the jump, and then he has to beat Russell. And then the euro step is so perfect because he doesn't do it obnoxiously like, like, the, like, like most players. He does it very slyly. Very deceptively, very aggressively, very quickly, just executioner, Larry Bird style. Tita, done. See that? Tita, done. And then he just smashes on him. Very clean, very respectful. Not knowing to jump over people, not to like abuse anybody, not to yell at anybody. Just let him know, man. Let him know with the, with the teeth narrow. Like a, like, a, like, a, like an actual predator, like an actual animal. You know, you'll, you'll see a lion beating his chest, or or or, or doing anything, or anything that, that that nature. A true Goldman. The true Goldman shows the teeth. Let him know. So when I smile, it's 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 it's, it's probably likely that I, I'm I'm, trying, I'm really trying, trying to do something really 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 weird, and I'm doing the Marlon Brando Cockney Eye Cook. Uh, uh, hey man, I, I'm I'm probably talking pure shit right now, but like hey man, sounds cool, don't it? Hey, but that's when I'm smiling. So I'm saying some smiling, cool, some some quirky stuff, or I'm really not smiling. I'm looking, yeah, then you know that. I gotta eat. I gotta eat too. So whenever you, whatever you're doing is threatening my my, 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 my survival when I'm eating. So please stop that. You know what I'm saying? But this is what I, this is how we're gonna close the video. The Eye of Sauron. The Eye of Sauron. Why is Jerry West watching Kobe Bryant and not getting back on? The play is over, dude. Doggy, the play is over. It's almost like he's hoping Kobe Bryant's gonna get banged on. On the on on the rim, he's gonna get hitched. He's gonna get Alfred Hitchcocked, and he's gonna somehow save the play. If I see my man's on the fast break and, and he's and he's jumped, I'm I'm darting back on defense, dog. That that's a dead play. Pre-game coaches in the NBA are dusters, and they literally don't know anything about the played sport. They they suck. But I'm telling you, there's levels to this. And basketball is a sophisticated sport that can be improved on and, and, and truly, 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 truly mathematized and strategized to perfection. Let go of old Jerry West, baby. He's not longer the logo. Bring back Mr. Bean Bryant.